for the work. Three thousand three. Good morning, everyone. It's morning here at Boko Venus State, Nigeria. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. And if you're stopping by for the first time, my name is Doris Talamon. I live in Boko Venus State, Nigeria. I make videos here in Boko Venus State, Nigeria. Now, where I'm standing is someone's workshop, okay? It's amazing because this young man makes motorcycles using scraps. Like he makes motorcycles using scraps from the beginning to finish how amazing is that from the research i've done he has made over 18 motorcycles so far from scratch to finish and then he has custom made like 100 motorcycles for people like buying motorcycles and changing it into his own design you're going to be seeing all the amazing stuff that goes on in this small space like this is all he has this is his workshop okay whatever motorcycle i'm going to be displaying today came out from this tiny place that I'm standing here. How fascinating, like I am so inspired. Now, without further ado, let's see all that this young man has to show us today. This pipe is pretty good for the work. Pretty good. As you can see here is the switch, like that, start of the bike. As you can see, the bike is still there. Okay guys, uh, as you can see, I got this thing done, so uh, this is the package. Um, from the customer and i'm gonna send deliver the package right now guys okay guys i'm luben from luben custom and i build bikes as you can see hmm. yeah. that's awesome so um the first thing i'm itching to ask you what inspired you to start all of this okay you see um uh, for me i'm a mechanic when i start this thing you know uh the idea is already there like you say i were born with this thing because uh when I was a kid, I used to pack scrub and build my things like that. Uh, when my people see this, they say, oh, some people even call me madman then. 
uh, going to school, I will have my two leaders. You know, back then in primary school, we have to put our books in leaders, right? That's so, true. I yeah. did it too. <laughs> I did it too, yeah. So uh, I, I have my two leaders, one for my books and one for my scrap. People used to call me madman then. So I'm doing this thing like that. So when my mother sees this, it, put, it just took me to a uh, lane mechanic, walk bikes, started by walking bike. So when times go on, like when I start growing this bit in this job, I now start customizing bike. I start from customizing. Customizing bike, I'll buy a bike, old bike, and then now we customize it to look very nice, to look unique, to look different than the, the other ones. From there, when times go on, people start buying my custom bikes. I will buy a bike. You no know, customizing bike, I, you will take some risk. You have to take some risk customizing bike because you have to cut this bike the, from the original uh, design. You have to cut mm -hmm. it and design it your own way. So mm -hmm. people start buying my custom bikes. From there, as I, 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 I start getting the idea, what, people are buying it. I'm doing it, people are buying it, and I keep doing it. So we, when time goes, I say, okay, hey, let me just take this thing to another level. And now I start, uh, let me just build this myself. Why don't me build this bike myself? That day, some people call me crazy. Oh, you want to build bike yourself. You think it's easy. You're going to build them from scratch to finish yourself. Then you are, you are crazy, though. So from there... The most crazy part when I start buying the materials, the tools like the iron, the scrub, all those pipes. You no, know, they used to boot bikes as pipes. Understand? Because yeah. I already boot, I already know the pipe, the material you know, those foreign people use. So now I'm buying my own pipes, very thick pipes. Then when I start buying the pipe, and then I say, let, okay, let me build it myself. Then from there, I start building up my bike. My first bike then was uh, I call it the LUB Cup. That bike was very nice. When I finish that bike, <laughs> I, I, take, I ride this bike to the market area and uh, more than 100 persons were there. Some boys saying, uh, oh, this bike is very unique. What? White man. People just come out. What? Those white men are crazy. Look at what they just did. Very nice. I was like, no, this is not made by white man. This is made by me. They were oh, some people will not believe. They were arguing. Jeez, it's a lie. From there, I start. With that, that, when I start arguing, I know I'm, I'm special. What I do it, I'm there arguing that it's not me. I thought to myself that I'm special. So from there, let me move this thing to another level. Because even when I'm building that first one, I was like joking. From there, I just go to the market and buy from the scrap yard and buy more scrap, more pipes. From there, I start building up my bikes. Then I build uh, the Elubic. This one was the EPE. This one was another version. Uh, this one was another version, a special version that can start with remotes. Uh, you can have many features. You can use your phone to operate the bike somehow. Cause it, there was a chip I put inside that comes with an app. When you buy that in, in your bike, you have to download the app. Then you're using the app to control the bike. That bike was very special. Then I sell that one too. From there, that man that buys that bike told uh, it was a foreign something. Cause you see it online. When he got there, when he got there and, re and realized that uh, the bike was um, made by nigeria and it's because it says my label on it and said made by me so 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 this man corner called me and, that, and he was impressed that what you build this thing i say yeah i show him some videos some pictures from there this man say okay let me build uh some let me build like 20 frames for him from there i start doing my thing yeah. okay um so how much did you sell the bike for okay like the first one i sell it a uh, hundred thousand that was then 2015 and then going along i start selling then i have some that i sold um 150 some 200 some 250 the highest i saw is 300 300 k wow yeah that's, that's that's so cool yeah so what are your plans what what is your bigger picture what are you looking at from all of this that you're doing okay you see um uh, here that i work this place is very small and uh the equipment are not there already but even though with this local equipment you can see what i can do so if i have the opportunity to work in a bigger company i will be impressed because i will do money i will do things better i will work better and uh, i will take the opportunity anyway because these materials are very low so if i have the opportunity i will take it so my dream now is to one day leave Nigeria and work with uh, some bigger foreign companies out there. Uh, so that's my dream. So that I can do bigger things that even the white man will only dream of doing it. Yeah. So are the, those are the tools I use. Those are my working tools. Uh, as you can see, this one is my welding machine. It's a homemade local welding machine that I use. And this one is uh, my painting machine. Right, I paint. I use this one to paint all my bikes, and this is my drill. 
Okay, this one is uh, my filing machine that I used to cut my uh, my pipes and cut uh, some irons and fire them up. And this one is uh, also a filing machine, but it's a small size. This one we use it to dress the bikes, do some things like that. And then this is my saw, uh, and and this is my pin plier, and uh, and this is my drill, and this is my vise. This one we use it to tie something up. Uh, when you want to dry something, you tie it then like that, uh, like that. Then you use to work with it. And this is my table. If you, you can see in my video, you know, you understand. I, this is the place I work. So this is it. I must get to the top for because when I started doing this, people thought I was crazy. But now I'm at this level, and you see, I've made a lot of bikes. People had already seen them on the internet, and so I must get where I'm going. If I don't get there, I'd rather die trying, for sure. Yes. As you can see guys here is uh the the open and here is the lock and here is to start and here is the alarm as you can see and then here is to open and guys here if you double click this button is gonna start as you can see it just starts like that guys and uh, here is also to off as you can see and that's look pretty good guys uh now i'm gonna do the back and um i'm gonna finish up the quad guys got it done like this as you can see and this thing also has a, a remote you also start with a remote And you can see as I got a, a, a switch and you also start from there like that and that looks pretty good as you can see for everything that you are doing no matter what you are doing even if you are not getting the applause that you think you deserve you should continue doing it because people are watching even if people are not commenting on the content or whatever thing you're doing and putting out there just know that they are always watching a time will come when an opportunity will spring up someone will remember what you are doing and reach out to you so continue pushing someday sometime it will all come together and you will see that your efforts are not in vain thank you guys so much for watching this video to the very end i really appreciate that you stayed with me and i hope that you're inspired by what he is doing here and if you have not subscribed to my channel do not forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up okay and don't forget to leave a comment and please don't forget to share because you don't know there may be someone out there you know who could be of help to this brother all right so don't forget to share this video to as many people as you can i really appreciate your time and i'll see you in the next video all right take care of yourselves stay well and be good